Really? You gotta have your coffee. Yep. <laughs> right there. Well, hi guys. Me and Super D is going on an adventure. Yeah. 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 Oh what? You don't want to be handy. Huh? There's a pair of spectacles. Ah! I should have some of the cars. Gotta have his looking eyes.
Well, the boys are leaving, and we now have a cab and an 1850 Oliver narrow front. Uh, I'll explain later why we're doing it the way we're doing it. So, but as you can see, they're heading back home. We're going to chain this rascal down and hit it. So we'll be back in a minute, guys. Well, she's all loaded up, chained down, uh, ready for her trip home. Sorry about the wind. We'll get uh, more video when we get home. So hang on. We're going to be leaving here in a minute. So hang on, guys. Typical trucker, gotta have his coffee, right? Well, <laughs> it's too cold. Yeah. So we'll be back here in a bit, guys. Now comes the fun part, unloading everything. So, We'll get everything unstrapped and I'll fire that thing up. Uh, when I do, I'll for sure get it on film. So hang on, guys, we'll be right back.
you get the gist guys now it's going to be the cab so we'll be back okay guys a little bit about this 1850 uh story i was told on it uh, from the guy i bought it from it belonged to their neighbor he passed away uh, people were breaking into his place stealing stuff so they just wanted to clear everything out and he bought this tractor another tractor and some equipment really didn't do anything to it other than uh, get it running and get it out of the barn because it's been sitting for a couple of years uh 44 4500 hours on it the tack works and it doesn't work uh so it's an issue i'm going to work on uh it needs a valve cover gasket in the worst way and the 354 Perkins is noted on the manifold side for the exhaust ports being right here, right here, right here, get very hot. And they're known for baking the old um, cork gaskets. So the new ones are rubber. So that's going to get changed uh, it's going to get cleaned up i'm pretty sure it's going to need an alternator before it's all said and done no real big deal there uh two speed is iffy and i knew it was iffy when i bought it one of the reasons i say that it is a green filter and unless he had a bunch of new old stock filters at his place, hasn't been changed for a long time. Uh, no big deal to me. Um, and it's like any other tractor you buy. Uh, I don't care who you are, there are things you're going to do. Change the oil filter change the oil filter change you know the filter in the hydraulics uh check the rear end check this check that you know uh the lights currently do not work and that's because they're unplugged because this tractor had that cab on it now it's not much of a cab and the there's no windows in it but it will keep you out of the sun and possibly keep the rain off your head. Well, uh, it may go back on. Uh, fenders are straight and they're good. I think this one's got a little rough spot right there. Not much. All the sheet metal is good and straight. It's original. It's not been painted on. It's not had anything done to it. Uh, does have a set of wheel weights. Back tires are shot. I knew this. Three point arms are good. Has the Oliver center link with it. Which is hard to find. With a tractor especially. Uh, needs a seat but they all do. Every one I've ever seen needs a seat on it. Uh, clutch needs to be adjusted because A, there's no real dead play. It's too tight. And when you let it out, it's all the way up here. And I don't like that. It needs to be adjusted. Steering wheel is good. Uh, there are a couple of things that are a little bit odd about this tractor. And I looked the serial number up, and this is a 65. 
Um, apparently they broke a hub and they put this hub for a dual that was broken. So yeah, it'll work. <laughs> um, what is uh, two things that are that stand out to me is this gear shift. Uh, that's its neutral position right there. It's all the way over here. Uh, it's a little bit different than any I've seen on any other Oliver. And the serial number plate, oddly, is over here. Most of the time, they're on this. Not there, which is kind of odd. But, uh, like any other tractor, it needs going over. It needs, you know, it needs things done. It needs a bath in the worst way. Um, all that crud under the seat cleaned off and around the axle and everywhere else. And something I find kind of funny. Oh, it does have the dual hooks on it. Both sides. This still has the Oliver screw in ends and I haven't seen those in forever uh, the uh, they're going to have to be changed I've got another one of these brackets I can bolt here no big deal put the other set of remotes up it just needs a good cleaning the one surprise I got was this. That was a surprise. And that's something that's going to have to be fixed right off the bat. Both sides are that way. It wasn't that way until we chained it down and took it down the road. And it's been broke for a long time, it appears. Which means more than likely one or two of these bolts this one is probably broken oh yeah it does have the little plug for your uh, what is that teleelectric for your hydraulics there's your plug for here for voltage but it ain't gonna work uh, like I said they took the cab off, all the wires are loose on both sides, so I play with the lights a little bit. Uh, like I said, this tractor has never been painted that I can tell, but yet these are green and not clover white, which is unusual. Uh, the gear shift, uh, serial number plate, and its paint scheme uh, makes me wonder. Um, but, like I said, it's original. Uh, you don't find them that certificate, certified sticker on it that aren't all painted around, painted over. You don't find it with the original Oliver decal from the dealer very often uh, but and it well it's just straight it's clean it's straight it's got some good bones to work with um, a little cleanup paint the rims paint the grill uh, maybe repaint these, redo these side panels, clean the paint up, and I bet it'll look pretty daggone good. Uh, Price-wise, <laughs> uh, let's just say I don't have that much in it. 
Uh, it's a this is a tractor I've been looking for for a long long time and I found this one for sale I called about it I went and looked at it that day and basically bought it the next uh, my hold up was getting it home getting things aligned for where it was at to get it from where it was at to here because it was out of state but it's here and this is where it's going to live now but like I said everything is there um, it's been used but I don't believe it's been uh, used that hard but like I said there's something here to work with now uh, not crazy about this little fix but uh, we'll figure it out new seat a good bath uh, check some, you know do a little bit of wiring and I believe she'll be in good shape but my hunt for an 1850 is over uh -oh. see the dash everything it's it's a pretty decent straight tractor and having one with an actual Oliver original Oliver center link is next to near impossible to find <laughs> so I'm happy so big Bertha over there as much as I like that sorry about that battery's died but big Bertha over there as much as I like it uh, I would rather have this uh, just my personal preference it'll do more than she will don't mean I don't like that tractor I do but I've got equipment I can use now because I have this tractor it's still even got the original screen in it you know so hmm. Like I said, I've been looking for one of these for a long time. Uh, really, since Dad traded ours off to an international. But uh, I don't have that much in this. So it will fit right in no matter what I got to do to it. Oh, back tires is no big deal. I've already found a set. Uh, front tires, well, they'll last a while longer, but that's not that big of a deal either. Uh, getting them running right, getting all the bugs worked out, getting things straightened up, fixed. That'll be the first order of business, and then I'll go from there. But guys, uh, I'm going to call her here. It's uh, December the 2nd. And, well, she's mine now. I've got an 1850. And she starts and runs good. It'll run better when I get done with it, but <laughs> for now, she's running pretty good. Uh, like I say, it's got a full vision cab that was on this tractor, and they took it off. So... It can go right back on it may need some tin work done to it but that's a minor minor thing uh, all the frames are here for windows just no glass in them and no doors but to tell you the truth if you can just get out of the Sun sometimes that's well worth it but guys We'll see you next time, 
And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I've got me an 1850 diesel. And you know, I think it would look pretty good with this behind it. Hmm. To wait and see. We'll see you next time, guys.